Hi, everybody. Welcome. This is Total Body Sculpt. My name is Caroline. Just gonna give it a few minutes to give people an opportunity to come in from the weight room. While we are waiting for people to join, let me give a brief rundown of the equipment you need for today. Um, you are going to need a mat, at least one set of weights. I have three. I have a set of fives, a set of eights, and a set of tens. Eight is a good happy medium between those. So if all you have access to is household items, two jugs of water, those are eight, eight, each eight pounds. That's the perfect thing to grab from your house. Um, you can also do cans of beans, whatever you have access to, um, but please make sure you have a mat, at least one set of dumbbells, somewhere between five and 10 pounds, and then also either two yoga blocks or two thick books. You're gonna wanna make sure that whatever books you choose are about the same height when you place them on the ground because we are going to be using them for a standing lunge series um, and also be an airplane pose. So you wanna make sure that whatever you choose to stand in for yoga blocks is roughly two books about the same height. Harry Potter books, grab book four and book five. They're perfect. <laughs> um, so that's what you'll need for today. This is Total Body Sculpt. It's gonna be 50 minutes. Um, I'm gonna share our playlist link in the chat in case you haven't had an opportunity to grab it just yet. So now the playlist is popping up in the chat, but it should have also been in the email with um, the link to get in. Um, while we're waiting to see if anyone else joins, I'm gonna read our disclaimer. So if you choose to exercise on any platform with Boston College and its affiliates, you do so at your own risk and acknowledge that there is an innate risk of injury when participating in any physical activity. Participation is voluntary and practice in a safe space suitable for this activity. Some practices may not be safe under certain medical conditions. You agree to consult a doctor if you have any medical concerns. If you experience any physical or emotional pain or discomfort, you will listen to your body, adjust the practice, and ask for support from a medical provider. You hereby agree to irrevocably release and waive any claims that you have now or hereafter may have against Boston College and its affiliates. You have read this disclaimer and have acknowledged it prior to participating in any activity. All right, now that we got that out of the way, just for the people who have joined last minute, one more rundown of where to find the playlist currently in the chat. This class is actually set to the beat of the music, so I do recommend that you actually listen to the music that I've put together in our playlist. If you have a problem finding a beat or hearing an eight count, don't worry, because just watch me and try to like move as I move. So playlist is in the chat, and as far as equipment, please make sure you have a mat, at least one set of dumbbells or something that can stand in for dumbbells. I have a set of fives, a set of eights, and a set of tens. So it's great if you have more household items or more sets of dumbbells that you can use to always level up or level down. Um, and in addition, please make sure you have either two yoga blocks or two thick books that are roughly the same height um, because we will be using them in a lunge series. We'll be going to airplane pose. So you wanna make sure that they're about the same level. And that is everything you need. So we are gonna get started. Let's grab that playlist. The very first song is Lonelier. I'll do our countdown, three, two, one, play. And when I say play, let's press that button. All right, everybody. Three, two, one, play. All right, taking it to the mat, we're gonna start with our warm up. So let's start by setting the feet outside the hips. We're taking it to squats. Squat, rise, squat, rise. All right, these are easy squats to start. You're not gonna have full range of motion just yet, especially if you've been sitting all day. So try to sit the hips a little bit lower with every rep. Just take this nice and slow. Coming up, we're in a pulse at the bottom of this squat. Four, three, two, one, and you pulse. Now, if you can hear that beat, see if you can find it. Coming up, we're gonna hold. Three, two, hold your squat. Sink one inch lower, just sink. You're here for four, three, two, back to squats. Lift, lower, lift, lower. So in this warm up, we're just gonna find a little bit of depth in the squat, no weight here, but 
but throughout the rest of class, we're gonna be adding weight to our movement. Coming up, we're gonna take it down into a plank. You're gonna plant the hands to the floor. In four, three, two, one. Plant the hands. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see me. Planking here. Let's start slow mountain climb. Right knee, left knee. Now you have an option here. You can always come down to the knees and pull one knee towards your chest. On deck, we're gonna take push-ups. Eight of them from your knees or your toes. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, eight push-ups. Down, push. Eyes are forward. Elbows 45 degrees to the rear. Core is tight. We're gonna hold a plank next. In four, three, two, hold your plank, just hold. Checking out your form here. Wrists under shoulders, you're squeezing your butt, you're squeezing your quads. See if you can come forward a little bit onto your toes and brace hard through the abs. For five, four, three, two, one. Take it back to your feet, lunges to the end. Lunge and back, lunge and back. Just alternating your lunges, finding a lot of length there. One more each side. One, and one, nice. All right, this is where we're gonna grab our weight. Up to you, which ones you grab. We're getting into squats. I'm gonna place my weights on my shoulders. This is just lower body. Let's start feet outside the hips. You squat and rise, squat and rise. So find the beat here, just like we were doing in the warm up. but now we make it harder because we're adding resistance. Coming up, we're gonna triple pulse this squat right here. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, and up. So at the base where you're pulsing, you want your butt to be just above knee line. We have four more of those. Pulse, 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 and lift. Try to keep a flat back, try to keep your chest up. Shoulders draw down the back. You got one more time. Get ready to pulse low. Sink the hips down and pulse, pulse. Coming up, we're gonna hold the squat low and sink deeper. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, just hold. Can you sink one inch lower? Coming up, we're gonna start to move. Two little steps left, two little steps right. Or I guess right and left, I'm gonna mirror you. Get ready to move to the right, stay low. Three, two, let's move. Right, right, left, left. Lateral moving squats, but the goal is to keep the bend in your knees, keep the hips back, embrace the burn. If you have to get rid of the weight, maybe see if you should just drop one. Keep some resistance and hold one weight at your chest. But you always have the option of body weight only. Coming up, we're gonna bring the feet outside the hips and pulse. Three, two, one. Just pulse in. Woo! We are into the bridge of this amazing song. Coming up, we're gonna take it back to full range squats. In four, three, two, one. You lift, lower, lift, lower. You got this team. All right, coming up, we're going to a bottom half squat. It's on a four count. Three, two, goes like this. Up, down, half up, down. All the way, down, half, down. Stand up, take it down, halfway, and down. So it's a little pause, halfway squat when you come out of the base. Up, down, stand. This is your last one, and rest. Drop those weights, grab some water. We're taking it into upper body. I'm gonna level down my weights just a little bit. I'm gonna pick up my eight pound weights. When you're ready, bicep curls to tempo. Lift, lower, lift, lower. So a great opportunity in this class to take rest is between songs. Join whenever you're ready. If you need more rest, 
take it. So find the beat here. Elbows are close to your sides. Forearms are tight to the torso. Shoulders, hips. Get full range. Coming up, we're gonna take it to a hammer curl. Palms will face each other. Four, three, two, one. Now a hammer curl. So we're hitting similar muscles, but a slightly different movement. On deck, taking it to a wide curl to the side. Three, two, one. Wide curl, lower, lift, lower. So the beat is fast here. Now if you've got heavier weights, and you feel like you're dying, option, one arm at a time to give the other arm rest. So you can take that throughout if you've got weights that are heavy for your upper body. Coming up, we're gonna take one foot behind us. We're going to a shoulder press overhead. One foot behind, arms up, we press up and down. Up, down, up, down. So the beat here, it starts a little slow and then it's gonna pick up. Push, lower, push, lower. Elbows, do not drop below shoulder height. Get ready to press. We're gonna pulse the elbow shoulder height. Three, two, one, pulse it here, just pulse. Now check this out, one foot behind you. Slight bend in the front knee, brace through the abs, your body is upright. Pulse, pulse. Coming up, we're gonna swing the elbows in and out. In four, three, two, one. In, wide, in, wide. You can do this. Keep the arms up, keep it moving. You've got eight, seven, six, five. Coming up, we go to serve the platter. Three, two, one. Weight to the side, bend in the elbows. Serve, take it in. Serve, take it in. From the side, weights go out to shoulder height. Then squeeze the elbows by your hips for eight, seven, six, five, almost there. Four, three, two, one more. Bicep curls, finish this. Little finisher here, that first move. Rest is coming. In four, three, two, one, and rest, drop the weights. Grab your water. We're gonna move into a lunge series. You're gonna need those two yoga blocks or two thick books. <clears throat> Take those blocks or the books, place them at the edge of your mat, the tallest height possible. Grab some weights. If at any point the weights are too much, you ditch them. I'm gonna grab my eight pound weights. We're gonna start in a split lunge. Left foot forward, right foot back, right heel is lifted the whole time. Weights at the sides, let's go. Lower, lift, lower, lift. So you wanna find a tall chest, draw the navel to the spine. It's gonna help you find stability on the ball of the back foot. Driving through the front heel, you should have a really long stance here. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Coming up, we'll triple pulse this. In four, three, two, we triple pulse. Goes three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one, and lift. See if you can find that beat. And if it's too much, just try to follow along with me. Back knee is sinking low. Three, two, one, up. You got three more of these. How low can you go? 90, 90 in the knees. One more time, we're gonna pulse low in three, two, pulse it low, just sink into this. Pulse, pulse, you got this. Stick with it, I'm gonna let someone in from the weight room. For eight, seven, six, five, we're gonna hold. In three, two, hold it low, just hold. Bring the weights to your chest. We're gonna take the back leg, bring it in towards the front, Bend in the front knee. Let's go. Take it up, take it back. Up and back. Keep the weight in the front foot. You've got eight, 
seven, six, five. Coming up, we're gonna drop the weights. Hands will go to the blocks. In four, three, two, one. Drop the weights, hands to the blocks. Right leg behind you. Take it in for two, take it up for two. Bend the left knee, sink low. Get low and lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold that leg out, just hold. All right. Can you lengthen that leg a little bit more? Can you take your body weight out of the blocks? It's a light touch on the blocks. We're going back to that single leg squat. Two down, two up. Take it down, down, up, up. How low can you get that front quad of the leg that's driving? Sink and lift. This is slow for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, you're gonna hold it up, just hold. Find that airplane pose. See if you can turn on your core a little more. Take the body weight out of the blocks. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tap out that glute. Now we got two sides of the body. Let's do it all again. Move your weights, other side. Not weights, blocks. Grab those weights. We're doing the same thing, but this time, right foot forward, left foot back, left heel is lifted. Lower, lift, lower, lift. So total body sculpt is about trying to find the tempo of the music to drive you through. So see if you can tap into the beat and have that beat drive through your body to keep the pace up. Coming up, we're gonna triple pulse this. Four, three, two, we triple pulse. Goes three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, and lift. So that front knee should be tracking over the front toe. We don't want it to bow inward, and we don't want it to bow outward either. So squeeze your glute, Drive through the front heel. You got two more of those. Coming up, we're gonna pulse this low. Last triple here. Now sink and pulse. Just sink, pulse, pulse. All right, check in, be honest. Can you get that quad parallel with the floor by dropping the back knee further? We're gonna hold in three, two, one. Hold here, take the weights to your chest. We're gonna take that sprinter lunge. Back leg comes up to meet the front. You're gonna stay low, driving through that front heel. Get ready. Four, three, two, let's go. Take it up, take it back. Still finding that long lunge between reps. For eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one more. Drop the weights. Hands to the blocks. Left leg is up. We're taking that two count single leg squat. Let's go. Take it down, down, up, up. So you know how this should feel. Your glute is really firing up on that front leg. Can you get the leg that extends behind you so that the knee gets close to the floor as you squat. Coming up, we're gonna hold in four, three, two, one. Hold here, find that airplane pose. Lengthen that back leg. Try not to lock out the front leg. Turn your core on, take some of the weight out of the blocks. We're going back to that squat, get ready. Three, two, one. Take it down, down, up, up. I know this burns. On deck, we're gonna go to arms. 
So keep squeezing and pushing. Four. And lift. Three. Lift. Two. Lift. One more. Down. Now hold it up. Hold here. Eyes are forward. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Move those blocks to the side. Grab some water. Tap out your booty if it needs it. We're gonna go to arms again. This song's gonna be a little slower, so if you have slightly heavier weights, see if you can grab your heavier set. I'm gonna grab my tens. <coughs> I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see how to start. We're gonna hinge from the hips, row and lower. Flat back, you got a slight bend in the knee. I want you to brace your abs to protect the low back. Set your gaze in front of you. Try not to dip the neck, I'm sorry, try not to dip the chin to the chest. So you wanna keep a long neck all the way through your spine. Coming up with these rows, we're gonna triple pulse. In four, three, two, triple pulse. Goes three, two, one, lower. So from the front, see how narrow my elbows are. I'm almost trying to squeeze my shoulder blades behind my back and try to squeeze the elbows closer to each other at the height of the row. On deck, we're gonna change the row to a wide row. Hands will face the back, elbows will go wide. Last one of these, single wide row right here. Row, lower. Rip the elbows to the side. Take them really wide, up to shoulder height. You're still hinging at the waist here. Still have a flat back. Core is still turned on. You can do this. For four, three, we're gonna triple pulse it. In two, one, we triple pulse. Goes three, two, one, down. Three, two, one, two more. Three, two, one, down last time. Three, two, one, and rest. Roll the shoulders back, stand up nice and tall. Feet go a little bit wider, upright row. Lift and lower. Option, you can always take one at a time. If you feel like you're fatiguing, but try to rise to meet the challenge here. We're trying to move on beat. Lift, lower. Weights close to the chest. Four more. For four. Three, we're going overhead in two. One, we're going overhead. Tricep extension. Weights are up one foot behind. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up. Up, elbows close to the head, dip the weights behind, keep the biceps by the ears, down, and lift, four more, for four, lift, three, lift, two, lift, one more, down, lift, and rest. Drop those weights, grabbing some water. We got a squat series. I want you to grab one of your blocks or your books. We're gonna put our foot on it. If you don't wanna do that, that's okay. You're just not gonna use the block. I'm gonna grab my heavier set. I'm gonna take them to my shoulders. I'm gonna set up so that my right foot is on the block, my left foot is on the floor, and I'm gonna squat to tempo right here, lower, lift, lower, lift. So what you'll notice is that as you stand, one leg fully extends and the other keeps a slight bend. So we actually are gonna work the sides of the body a little bit differently here. Halfway through this song, we are gonna switch. Coming up, we're gonna pulse this low. Get ready, four, three, Two, pulse low, just sink into this. Pulse, pulse. On deck, we're gonna hold it. 
in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, just hold, hold here. All right, coming up, we're gonna bring a pulse back. The foot that's on the floor, you're gonna turn the toe out and in, but the one that's on the block will stay forward. Four, three, two, heel turns. Out, in, out, in. Just the foot on the floor is turning. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand up, switch the block to the right foot. We're gonna start with those full squats to tempo in four, three, two, one. Lower, lift, lower, lift for eight, seven, six, five, coming up, we pulse it low, get ready to sink, in two, one, pulse low, sink into this, feel the whole foot against the block, on deck, we hold it low, in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, we hold. The foot that's on the floor will turn forward and side. In four, three, two, pulsing through this. Side, forward, side, forward. You are getting there. Come on, eight more counts for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest, drop those weights. Move the blocks to the side. Let's grab some water. On deck, we're gonna do a series where we build up to something called a man maker. I'm gonna grab my eight pound set. If at any point, the tempo on B is too much, take it slower. You're gonna grab one set of weights. Set your feet wide. Take your hands so that they're facing each other, sort of between your feet. So feet are in a wide squat. Your hands are coming together like in a hammer curl. You squat into a press. So this is a squat curl into a press. So it's one, two, three, four. So we've got two things happening with the arms, but just squats happening with the legs. Coming up, we're gonna add on to this. After we take one squat curl press, the feet are gonna go out and come back in. So we're gonna pop those feet out into a plank. In four, three, two, one. So right here, it's squat curl press, down to plank, feet out, in, stand, and again. Squat curl press, plant the hands, feet out, feet in, come to stand, and again. Squat curl press, plant the arms, out, in, stand, and again. Squat curl press, plant the hands, out, in, stand, keep it up. Now an option here, when you pop to plank, one foot out, one foot out, in, in, stand. Your choice, if you're jumping the feet or stepping the feet. Two more of those. Squat curl press, out to plank, Slow stand, one more. We're going full man maker. We're adding on two push ups, two plank rows. Squat curl press, out to plank, push up, one more push up, row right, row left, feet in, stand it up, and again. Squat curl press, out to plank, two push ups. Row the right, row the left, feet come in, 
Slow to stand. Let's do it again. Squat curl press. Plant foot dumbbells. Two push ups. Row the right. Row the left. Feet in. Slow stand. And again. Squat curl press. Plant the weights. Feet out. Two push ups. Row the right. Row the left. Feet in. We got one more of those. Plant the dumbbells. Out, two push ups, knees or toes. We're gonna row the right, row the left. Feet come in. Squat curl press, just the first move. Squat curl press. Driving up through the feet, weight to the ceiling. Give me two more. One more time. And rest. Drop the weights, grab water. The good news is we are down on the mat for the rest of class. So I'm just gonna tilt the camera so you can see me a little better. Come down to the mat when you're ready. For our next series, two songs in a row working specifically our glutes. So this series, you can do this with no weight. If you have lighter weights, around five pounds, I would recommend using one of those just to add some resistance. Take your lighter weight, five pounds or lower, place it behind your right knee. We're gonna flex the right foot, keep the right knee bent, squeeze against the weight. If you don't have weight, bend knee, flex foot, Hands are down, you push and lower. Push and lower. So this is a tabletop series. Find the beat here. Push the heel, tap the knee. Push the heel, tap the knee. Keeping the flexed foot is gonna help keep the leg engaged. Make sure your weight is evenly distributed in your hands. I want you to look forward. We're gonna pulse this up. Ready? Let's go. Pulse it up. Pulse, pulse. So your goal here, keep the knee at hip height. You're trying to push a 100 pound weight up to the ceiling with your heel. So really try to squeeze, push, push. Coming up, we're gonna go back to the first movement and add a fire hydrant. We go like this, take it in, push it up, take it in, to the side, take it in, push, in, side. So when we take the leg to the side, that's a fire hydrant, it works the side of your glute. Now just fire hydrants right here. In, side, in, side. You're trying to get your shin parallel to the floor. Try not to dump your body weight over to one side. Still have even weight distribution in the hands. Get ready to pulse this high right here. Pulse, pulse. So you're feeling your obliques engage to help you get that leg up higher. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Get rid of that weight. We're coming down to a forearm plank. You can be on your knees or your toes. I want you to go back to bending that right leg. Flex the right foot and push it up. Push, push. So no weight here. But can you challenge yourself by taking this from plank on your toes? Elbows are underneath your shoulders. You got this. Push, push. On deck, we're gonna straighten the leg that's moving, point the toe, and hold a three-point plank. So just the left foot is down, but the right foot will be up and the leg will be long. In three, two, one. Lengthen the leg, point the toe. Can you add a little pulse here? Pulse, pulse. I know this is tough. We are working full body here. You got this. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one child's pose. 
Arms forward, knees wide. And let's grab some water here. Woo, I am sweating. Profusely, hear me now. All right, we're gonna set up for that on the other side. Whew. So grabbing your weight. Same thing we did in the last series, but now with the left leg. So again, five pound weight or less, you can also do this body weight. Squeezing tight onto the weight, left foot should be flexed. Wrists are underneath shoulders, lifting up that left leg. We're gonna lift, tap, lift, tap, lift, tap. So find a beat, push and lower. Heel, knee, heel, knee. Your core needs to turn on to keep your shoulders and hips square to the mat. Can you push the heel one inch higher every rep? Really squeeze it up. We're gonna pulse it in three, two, one. Pulse it up, pulse. So this is a smaller movement than what we were just doing. So we were just taking full range in that last move, but now the pulsing gives us time under tension. It's gonna change your muscle a little bit faster. Pulse, pulse. Eyes are forward for eight. Seven, six, five. We're going back to that first move at a fire hydrant. Right here. Take it in, push it up. Take it in, to the side. Take it in, push, in, and side. Down, heel, down, and lift the shin. You're trying to get as much height to the side as you do to the back. Working a little bit of joint flexibility here. Coming up just fire hydrants right here. Take it in to the side. Take it in to the side. So lift. Turn your obliques on. Turn that side glute on and lift it up. One, two. We're gonna pulse this next in four, three, two, one. Pulse it up. Pulse, 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 pulse. Fingers are spread wide, press them out away. Four, three, two, one. Getting rid of that weight if you have it. Finding that elbow plank, right foot down, left foot up, press the heel. You pulse, pulse. So no weight here. See if you can challenge yourself taking the plank on the foot. If it's too much, you drop to the right knee. Push, push. Draw the shoulder blades down your back, lengthen your neck, you can do this. Your next move, we're lengthening that moving leg, pointing the toe, we're gonna hold it. Three, two, one, hold. Lengthen the leg. See if you can add a pulse with this. Pulse, pulse. Look forward, resist the urge to look at your feet. Pulse, pulse. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Child's pose. Knees wide, arms forward. And let's grab some water. Four series of wood left. We're gonna do our first of two ab series next. So to set up for this coming series, no equipment needed, I want you to set up so that your left leg is straight, your left arm is straight, your right leg is bent, right foot on the floor, right knee, right hand behind the head. So left leg, left arm straight, right arm behind the head, right knee bent. We're taking it to a modified bicycle crunch, just crunching to one side. Crunch and back, crunch and back. Now since this is modified, you really wanna squeeze the elbow to the knee. That is your target. We lengthen the leg long, we point the toe, and we let the leg just hover a little bit above the floor 
when we take the left leg long. All right, coming up, we're gonna add a move into this. We're going to add an ankle reacher. So it'll be a bike into a straight leg. In four, three, two, one. So you bike, straight leg reach. Bike, straight leg reach. Get the shoulder blade off the mat, touch the ankle. If you can easily reach the ankle, can you reach your shoelaces? If you can reach your shoelaces, can you actually touch your toes? All right, coming up, we're going into a bicycle crunch both sides. Four, three, two, one. Bike, bike. So a basic bicycle crunch, hands behind your head, elbows go wide. Feeling the low back, making contact with the mat. Eight more of these for eight, seven, six, Five, on deck, we're gonna take it to the other side with a modified bike. In four, three, two, one. Left leg bent, left hand behind the head, right arm, right leg straight. Crunch, extend, crunch, extend. So now we're going the other way. And it's modified, so squeeze the elbow to the knee, you can do this. You feel the tight crunch in your core, as you squeeze your ribs towards your hips. All right, coming up, we're gonna add in that ankle reacher. In four, three, two, one. So it's a bike and reach. Bent leg, straight leg. Your hand returns behind the head to help protect the neck. All right, coming up. We've got to finish this. Bikes both ways, you know what to do. In four, three, two, one. Hands behind the head, twist, twist. Light touch behind the ears, not pulling on the neck. You always have the option here to take your legs closer to the ceiling to make the bike easier. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees in. Roll out on the back. So we just worked our abs real hard. We're going to work our upper body one more time. Grab behind your hamstrings and rock up to a seated position. We're gonna grab both of our blocks or our books. We're gonna be using them for push-ups and for dips. So we're gonna set up the blocks so that they're the shallow depth. And we're gonna um, do dips first. We'll start with dips. So you actually want the blocks behind you, just behind your low back. You wanna curl your fingers around the blocks, plant your feet about hip distance, lift your butt, straighten your arms, taking tricep dips to tempo. Dip. Press, dip, press. So your fingers are curled around the block so that they're facing your butt. Driving through the palms with a tricep dip, you gotta bend the elbows. So this is not about moving your butt up and down. It's about bending through the arms to make your triceps, the back of your upper arm, really burn. Coming up, we're gonna pulse at the base. In four, three, Two, one, pulse, pulse, pulse. Rest is coming, I know your triceps burn. Keep your chest open. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. We're gonna flip around. You only need one block here. We're gonna place it under the left hand. Right hand will be on the mat. We're gonna take uneven push-ups and ease our toes, 10 each side. In three, two, one. Down, push, down, push. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sit back in a quick 
child's pose before we go the other way. Move the block. It's going to be under your right hand, left hands to the mat. Ten push-ups, knees or toes. Let's go. Down, push. Nine. So eyes are forward. Abs turned on. For five. Four. Three. Two. One. Moving that block to the side. Find a high plank. Hands underneath the wrists. We're going to take it to a crouch back high plank. It goes like this. Crouch back, high plank. Crouch back, high plank. Squeeze your chest, your quads. Knees go wide. Keep the eyes forward. Arms are straight. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, you have two more series of work. One more series focused on the abs. No blocks needed. You need one dumbbell. Let's make it your lightest dumbbell possible. Place your feet on the mat. Knees are bent. Start with the weight in the left hand. You're going to fly to the side. Right arm is just hovering out above the floor. So we're going to take a fly, crunch, lower, and down. Fly, crunch, lower, join me when you're ready. Fly, crunch up, lower, down. Fly, crunch, lower, down. Two more of these. One more, then we're going to pulse the weight up. In three, two, one. Just pulse the weight up. Pulse, pulse. Eyes on the weight. Try to keep it directly above the shoulder. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take the weight to the right hand. We switch sides. Fly, crunch. Fly, crunch, down, and down. Fly, crunch, down, down. Finding four counts in one rep. Keep your eyes on the weight as you take it overhead. Get the uh, spine off the mat, shoulders lift high. We've got two more of these right here. One more that we pulse it high in four, three, Two, pulse it up. Extend the weight, pulse, pulse, pulse. Pushing to the ceiling. Eight, seven, six, five. We go to a C crunch. Three, two, one. Bring the weight to your forehead. Elbows are bent. Pulse in a C crunch. Pulse, pulse. Feet to the floor. Shoulder blades lifted. Weight by the forehead. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift the legs to table and pulse, pulse, pulse. We got one more level. Legs will go to the ceiling. We're gonna crunch the weight up in four, three, two, one. Legs to the ceiling. Highest level, embrace the burn. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Weight to the side, pull the knees in, roll out on the low back. One more working series and then we get to cool it down. Let's grab behind the hamstrings, rock up, move that weight to the side. Grab a sip of water before we get into our final song, two and a half minute plank. All right, two and a half minutes. This is all you have left. Let's start in a high plank. Wrist directly under shoulders. Draw the shoulder blades down the back. Let's start by taking a slow mountain climb to tempo right here. Right knee, left knee, knee, and knee. 
Coming up, we're gonna move into a side plank. You can take it on your hand or on your elbow. You choose the side. Three, two, one. Find a side plank. So raising that top arm up to the ceiling. Keep the hips high, keep them stacked. Can you lift the top leg and hold? Breathe here, stay strong. Eight more counts. Eight, seven, six, five. Back to high plank in three, two, one. Find that high plank, shoulder taps right here. Tap right, tap left. Now you have an option here to come down to your knees as you take your shoulder taps. You wanna keep your hips from rocking. So put more distance between your feet or your knees. We got a side plank going the other way. Hand or forearm. Three, two, one. Side plank the other way. Hit that strong form. Push the mat away with your whole palm. Can you lift the top leg and hold? Hips are stacked, feet are flexed. Reach up the top hand. You got eight more counts. Eight, seven, six, five. Back to high plank in three, two, one. Find your high plank. All right, let's all take it down to low plank on the forearms. Hip dips side to side. Dip, center, dip, center. So we're actually taking our hips along a 180 degree arc as we dip to the mat and come back up through center. Eight more for eight. Final push. Seven, six, five. Cool down is coming. Four, three, two, one, and rest. We hit a child's pose right away on the mat. Knees wide, arms forward, forehead to the floor. Walk your hands to the left side of your mat, get a stretch through the side of your body. Walk your hands the other way. Hands come back to center. Coming up into a tabletop position. Bring your left foot between your hands. Right knee goes back. Coming up into a runner's lunge, hands to the front knee, sinking forward and down. With our left foot down, plant the right hand to the side. Spinal twist towards the front knee. Bring that arm down. Sit the hips back, take a counter stretch. So you wanna think about the crown of your head shining forward, lengthen through the back as you drop the chest to the knee. And switching sides. So the left knee comes down, the right foot comes forward. Hands to the front knee for a runner's lunge. Right foot is forward, left hand plants, spinal twist towards the front knee. And planting those hands to frame the front foot, sink your butt back, straighten the front leg. And coming forward, let's find a cross leg seated position on the mat, taking a few more stretches seated. So sit up nice and tall and take one arm across your chest for a shoulder stretch. Tricep stretch, reaching between the shoulder blades. Shoulder stretch on the other side. and take tricep stretch. And release. Take your left hand outside the right knee, spinal twist to the back. Coming through center, switching sides. Coming back to center, 
Clasp your hands, press forward as you drop your chest, your chin to your chest, feeling a stretch to your upper back. And now clasp the hands behind your back, pull down as you look up, open through the chest. And release. Let's finish with two deep breaths. Take some open palms to the ceiling. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time, open palms, big inhale. Exhale, let it all go. And give yourselves a round of applause. Happy Friday, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. My name is Caroline. This was Total Body Sculpt. Hopefully I'll see you next week. Bye everybody.